British design, Italian style, the power of a V8 American engine. I think that's a particularly appealing combination. The Gordon Keyboard was never designed for mass production. It was hand-built in a factory just outside of Southampton. The auto car described it as the most amazing car that they'd ever tested in when they got, first got the prototype. And it does have a lot of uh, unusual features for cars considering it was designed in 1960. It's got disc brakes all round, it's got electric windows, and it's a true four-seater, so it's a grand touring car in the proper meaning of the, of the word. They were built from 1963 to 1966. Uh, my own car was built in 1965 and is the 68th car. The name Gordon Keeble isn't one person's name, as many people think. It's two people who were the prime movers in producing this car. There was John Gordon, who already owned a motor company, making a, a car called the Peerless. And there was Jim Keeble, who was an engineer and racing chassis designer. The engine is wonderful. It has so much power, it'll pull really low revs and just keep accelerating. As an owner one has a responsibility to make sure it is kept in good condition. Classic cars uh, should be driven. You're much more involved in changing gear, in where the car is on the road and the whole experience of driving as opposed to just getting from A to B.